Hi, this is Jimmy D from Plixer International, and I had a customer ask me, how do I set up links on maps? Relatively simple, so let me show you how to do that. All you have to do is click on the Maps tab, and either you'll have a group of devices already created, or you will create your own. I'm going to create my own right here. And I'm going to call it Jimmy D's Test Map. And we're going to create a flash map. Scrutinizer is going to create that map, and it's going to bring you into the wizarding process. Here I'm going to select what devices I want in that map. So I'm going to sit there and put my router. And I'm also going to put another flow device. So let's do Flow Pro Defender. At this point, I can click Next. And I can start creating connections. As you can see here, I have my devices. It will populate the interfaces and the other devices that I want to connect to. So here I'm going to select my router, my interface, and I want it to go to my other device, Flow Pro Defender. Now I can click Connect. And it's going to automatically connect that on the map. Now, I can also connect with a Scrutinizer report, and this is going to be important later on, because any report that you create in Scrutinizer can be a link on a map. Maybe you're creating a report that monitors certain applications' performance or what conversations are going there. You can actually link that report on that map. You can also add static icons, and let me show you how you do that over here on Objects. You can click New Object, and we're going to call this one Internet. I'm going to select Cloud72. Now, a couple things to note is that you can actually uh, add an IP address and pull a device, if need be, and select a notification profile. I'm going to save it. And now you can see under Connections, you have a new object. So I'm going to go My Device. I'm going to select the interface. And I'm going to go to my Internet symbol and click Connect. So now when you go to the Maps tab, you're going to be able to see your group. And you're going to have those devices on your map. You can go into Edit Mode, move those devices. however you want. You can add backgrounds. You're going to see that you have hierarchical options. Save the map. And now it will operate just like you want it to. Where, hey, I want to see how much traffic is going from my router to the internet. I click the link, and it goes right into that scrutinizer report. You can also add these to your dashboard by clicking on Add Gadget, and you'll be able to find your maps. Well, that's it, guys. This is Jimmy D from Plixir International. If you have any questions, please let me know.